So welcome to another Java program tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use arrays and what an array is is it's basically like we can it's a variable but we can store more than one value in we can store as many values as we like in this one variable so instead of creating 20 million variables we just create one array which holds 20 million different uh, values so we create it kind of similar to how we create a normal variable we we'll just do int, then square brackets, and then we're going to call this something equal to. Then here, what we do is curly brackets. I'll explain this all afterwards. Semicolon, and then inside here, we can do one, two, and three. Now, what this is all doing is we're basically first defining that this is an integer variable, just like we do with normal variables. And then these square brackets are just saying that it's an array. This is just our name, and we are setting it equal to, and then this. Basically, this is the first value in in the value slot one, slot two, and the slot three value. And we could put this as like 500 if we want. I'll put it as 500 just so it doesn't get confusing. And then what we can do, we can do system dot out dot print ln brackets and then here let's say you want to do something now a problem here is that something has more than one value so let's see what happens when we try and run this you see we get this stupid thing that makes no sense and that is because there is more than one value there's three values to be precise so let's say we want to go for this one right here now the way computers work is this is zero. Computers start counting at zero, not one. Com uh, humans will count it from one. Computers from zero. So this is slot zero. This one is slot one, and this is slot 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 two. So if we want to go for the first slot, which is slot zero, we do square brackets and then zero inside that. And then if we run that, you see we get 500 because that is routing to slot zero. Saying we go to slot 1, that's going to bring up number 2, and then to slot 2, that will bring up number 3, just like that. And you can use these as you would a normal variable. So you could use this in like mathematics or anything like that. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found it useful. And I will see you in the next tutorial.